In 2015, the Nigerian online investment took a new dimension with the launch of a Ponzi scheme website known as MMM. The scheme, which promised 30% profit on investment, had some Nigerians put in their money with the hope of getting the promised profit percentage. The financial pyramid scheme claims to have the goal to destroy the world's unjust financial system. It had a smooth running until late 2016 when the site crashed and had lots of money hanging. An unconfirmed report says a total of 18 billion naira was lost during the period. Since the crash in 2016, the activities of the site and participation reduced drastically for the fear of losing more money. A shocking news, however, greeted the media on Monday 26, 2018 about the sudden death of the MMM founder. Reports say he died of a heart attack in a Russian hospital. Most people are of the opinion that participants on the platform will have no good story to tell. As it is, um, um, I have a lot of friends that have invested their money and then at the end of the day, they could not get their returns. Even the, the principal amount they invested, they couldn't get it. So, as it is now, the, uh, just like what you said, that the founder is <laughs> no more. Ah, uh, uh, there is a, is a very big, uh, a very big uh, issue. It means that your capital or the amount you have invested in MMM is gone. Uh, I can use myself as an example. I think in year 2016, I lost my money. It's a pity because as we can all know, when you invest in a business and nothing comes out of it, the money goes. So the truth is that the money is gone. That's the sad truth about everything, that the money that you have invested is gone. Some still maintain their reservations about the death of the MMM founder and the fate of participants on the platform. These people are invisible. You can't trust them. So I don't think if there's anybody to be held responsible for their money that they pay into that uh, account. They, they work among themselves. They click. They normally work among themselves, amongst families. They have different people that work together. So they, they pay themselves. It's people paying themselves. So it's, it's, it's just a very funny situation. It will be recalled that the Central Bank of Nigeria had at different times warned Nigerians to be wary of the scheme. With all this development, only time will tell what happens next. Sheifumi Olatide, LTV News.